Welcome to the Fat Emperor Podcast. I'm your host, Ivor Cummins. First of all, just before even talking about a blood test, Mm. Just external measurement, waist yeah. to height ratio. This is huge. If you measure your waist circumference, uh, you know, first thing in the morning, uh, at the belly button, abdomen totally relaxed, you take your waist circumference, mm. you divide it by your height. That waist to height ratio uh, correlates almost perfectly with mm. insulin sensitivity, and it's huge. And that would probably get you 80% to where you need to be in terms of knowing what's going on with you. So waist to height mm. ratio, uh, great metric, love it. Uh, last time I checked it was free. <laughs> yeah. So so I like to start there. That's In, in mm. fact, if there was one thing anybody could be tracking, it's probably waist to height ratio. Right. And that, not to break in, but that much more powerful, of course, than general BMI, general weight, I mean, it re the ratio is what really talks or speaks to insulin sensitivity. Absolutely mm -hmm. right. Well, weight is not the right thing to track because mm -hmm. I have tons of patients with normal weight obesity. Mm -hmm. they, they have such little muscle mass that they, they're huge, but they have no lean mass. And so their weight is actually normal, but they're over fat, really mm -hmm. bad, really high insulin, very over fat, weight looks normal. Right. Um, then I have these power lifters who, you know, I have a 30 inch waist, but they're 240 pounds and they're completely perfect. So yeah, weight yeah. is not, weight can mislead. BMI of course is misleading, but waist to height ratio is fantastic. So everybody mm -hmm. needs to start there. Um, mm -hmm. Then blood tests. Well, I, you know, everyone should check their fasting glucose. Yeah. Well, which you can do now with a glucometer for, you know, 10 cents. Um, uh, but most people out there are going to have normal glucose right up into the point where they're fully diabetic. So that's not really telling you the whole story. But I still yeah. like the test. I like yeah. fasting glucose. Um, I, I like just low budget off the shelf fasting lipid panels. Um, I'm mostly looking at triglyceride to HDL ratio. Mm. You want your triglycerides as low as possible and your HDL as high as possible. Mm. Um, triglyceride to HDL ratio is a huge big deal. I rely on that pretty heavily. Mm. Um, and it's come up as well historically, repeatedly as a very powerful risk indicator. I mean, much more so than taking any individual lipids. Much yeah. more mm. so than anything else. I, that's definitely the best piece of information you can get from a standard lipid profile is triglyceride to HDL yeah. ratio. Uh, I, I like, okay, so I know some people out there say that fasting insulin is not that helpful and you really need to do a glucose tolerance test, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm coming back around on this issue and I really think that fasting insulin is valuable yeah. and useful and interesting and um, uh, I think that might be a, a good test to have. I've, right. I've been doing a lot of those. And uh, I think, yeah, if it's in the kind of ambiguous range, like eight or nine or something, it's, it's of less value. But if you can get it down to three or so, three or four, then I, I, it really becomes more powerful as an indicator you are okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, so, right. So it's that, easy. Average is about an eight. And uh, if you're if you're in the double digits, you're definitely in trouble. Mm. Um, low single digits, you're doing great. So I love that test. Mm. Um, I, I like to check people's uh, liver numbers. You know, I know you uh, talked in the past about your GGT. This is one of the markers of metabolic syndrome. So I like uh, the liver transaminases. We call them ALT, AST, GGT. Uh, you definitely want those on the low side. Mm. Um, those are probably the only must-have lab tests that, that everybody needs to know. Glucose, lipids, liver, maybe an insulin. Mm. Um, and then if something's wrong with any of those, you really want to check your thyroid because a lot of people will have a thyroid problem screwing up uh, their other numbers. You can look like a metabolic syndrome if you have underactive thyroid. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see my subscribe button in the middle of the screen, a free viewing of the Widowmaker movie on the far right, and myself and Dr. Gerber's book, Eat Rich, Live Long, on the left. Otherwise, please do subscribe to the audio podcast. Thanks.